welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a really exciting video. I am going to be doing a lip swatching video on all of my NARS Audacious lipsticks. And if you don't know the NARS Audacious lipsticks, they are the newest um, formula lipsticks from NARS. They are incredible. Most of them are so lovely and creamy. There are 40 different shades that you can get. And the really awesome thing about all of the Audacious lipsticks is that they are all named after some famous people. There is one called Vivian, maybe because of Vivian Westwood, who knows? There's also one called Carmen. There's just so many great ones and I'm going to show you those that I've got. I've got 11 of them and I know some people they may have all 40, but um, I was so fortunate and so lucky to get the... Uh, the NARS Vault um, set for Christmas. Oh my god, this is so heavy! Um, but um, as you can see, it comes with 10 different lipsticks and 10 different nail polishes. And I am only going to be talking about the lipsticks today. I've actually got 11, but yeah, I'm going to talk about these lipsticks that I've got today. Swatch them on my lips as well and tell you about the finish and all of that jazz. Hopefully this is going to be informative for you guys and helpful if you're looking for some new lipsticks. And also just if you're curious about the new NARS Audacious lipsticks. They have been out for quite a while now, but um, I just haven't really gotten around doing this video till now. So um, without further ado, let me show you all of the lipsticks. And if you're wondering which lipstick I am wearing right now, it is from Bobbi Brown and it is their um, lip colour number 21 Pale Pink. Before actually showing you all of the lip swatches and all of the colours, I'm just going to quickly talk about the packaging because as you can see it comes in kind of this plastic black um, packaging and the great thing about this one is that it's got a magnetic uh, lid so it opens and closes with this magnetic cool effect. I really like that and also here on the side of the lipstick it says NARS um, which is so cool. I just really like the design of this lipstick. It is very steady. It is also great for traveling because it's very secured thanks to the magnetic closure. So I just think that's so smart and I just really like the packaging. I think it looks very luxurious. The first lipstick I'm going to show you is the one called Rachel or Rachel. I'm not sure how you're going to pronounce that name and I'm not sure which famous person it is. Um, but it looks like this and it is kind of like a pinky beige lipstick, that's how it's described. Um, but I would definitely say that it's a very warm toned, peachy, beigey pink um, colour. Definitely more peachy than pink if you ask me. I would say in the tube I'm not really the biggest fan of the colour. But when it gets on the lips I actually really like the shade because it has got this kind of like glossy finish which just makes sure lips pop if you ask me. In my mind it's a very wearable nude and I think to most people and to most skin tones it will look really pretty. The next colour I'm going to show you is called Anita and um, this is kind of like described as an antique rosy colour. Um, to me it is kind of like a warm toned muted pink colour. Um, as you can see it is not a bright pink at all, it's very muted. When it gets on the lips it's got a very nice satin finish and that also means that it's much more opaque in its colour. I would say that this is a really opaque out there lipstick. It really just gives all of the colour at once and I really like that. And because it's a satin finish it also applies much more smoothly and evenly on my lips and I really like that because that means it's just easy to apply and easy to work with and that's how I want my lipsticks. The next lipstick is called Jane or Jane in Danish <laughs> and this is kind of like a muted orange colour as you can see. It is described as a terracotta rose colour. I would say that it's kind of like a medium to slightly dark orange and it looks more dark than bright if you get what I mean and it also comes in a satin finish once again applies really nicely on the lips very smoothly no fuss it's just a really nice lipstick um, not my favorite color I must say but I still think it looks pretty the next lipstick is called Claudia and I think this is like Claudia Schiffer I'm not sure but I think so um, it is a very cool toned pink lipstick as you can see one of the only ones that I have got that is cool in its undertones. This is kind of like a cotton candy pink or bubblegum pink colour if you ask me. I think it's really pretty and I actually really love wearing these kinds of pinks because they just make me happy. <laughs> 
Um, I really like the colour and the finish of it is kind of like a satiny finish once again. Glides on smoothly, a nice application. It's just a no fuss lipstick if you ask me. It's very easy to apply. I think the only thing that you have to get used to is the colour because it is kind of like bright. It's a medium pink bright lipstick and I like it. I think it's pretty, especially for summer, just some very subtle eyes and then this one, I love it. The next lipstick is really gorgeous, but I have absolutely no clue how to say and pronounce the name. It is called Michio? 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 I'm not sure at all, but just look at that colour. It is a hot pink. That is such a gorgeous pink. It is kind of described as a shocking pink, and I get why, because it's very bright, it's very bold. I personally love wearing bright, bold lip colours, and I think this is so beautiful. It has got a actually kind of like semi-matte finish on the lips, kind of like between a satin finish and a matte finish, and I really like that. It means that it's much more long wearing on the lips and it just glides on very, very nicely. So yeah, it is just a kind of like medium to dark fuchsia pink color, if you ask me. Very bright, very bold and great for summer. Just be aware with this lipstick that it is a bit more cool in its undertones and it's a bit more blue in its undertones as well. Um, I don't mind that, but some people really hate that, so just be aware of that. The next lipstick is called Grace, and I think this is such a beautiful colour, probably one of my absolute favourites. It is kind of like a orangey red lipstick and it looks incredible. It is described as a bright coral red and I would say it's kind of like a light to medium orangey red. This is going to be such a hot colour for the spring and summer of 2015, so this is definitely kind of like a must-have for summer. This lipstick is seriously on point when it comes to application. It just glides on so smoothly and it gives instant colour. Seriously, one swipe and you're just good to go. This is such a high quality, great orangey red lipstick. The next colour is called Lana, probably because of Lana Del Rey. Just guessing here. This is a orangey red once again, just a bit more bright and a bit more bold. It is definitely much more vivid in its colour and it's very warm once again. Really great for summer and spring of 2015. This lipstick has also got a satin finish. It means that it's very intense in its colour payoff, which I really like. I felt like that it applied really smoothly on my lips and it looked really good. So um, I'm really happy with this um, formula of this lipstick and just the colour as well. I think it's beautiful. Once again, a must-have for spring and summer. The next lipstick is called Carmen. And I love that name so much. But yeah, it's called Carmen and it's the most beautiful red you will have ever seen. I think it's so beautiful. Um, it's kind of described as a geranium red. To me, it's a very warm, bright red that just goes great for most skin tones and most people. I think it's beautiful. The lipstick has got a satiny finish, but I did feel like that it was a bit dry to apply, actually. But it is definitely not a matte, but it was a bit more dry to apply than what I expected. But still, it looked amazing on the lips, and I think it's going to wear for a good amount of hours. The next lipstick is called Vivian and I think it's such a beautiful colour. It's kind of described as a red plum shade. Um, to me it is much more of a purpley, plummy shade. It has got a cool undertone in it and to me it's much more of a kind of like plummy, berry, purpley shade than red. The finish is once again a satin finish. I thought it was very opaque when I applied it. The next lipstick is called Sandra. A little bit of Sandra in the sun. A little bit of Mary all night long. Oh my god, I'm so weird. This is a red brownie lipstick, as you can see. It is described as a rosewood shade. To me, it's just a very medium dark um, red brownie lipstick. Um, not sure how I feel about it actually. I think it's pretty, but not really that wearable. It is once again a warm toned lipstick. It has got a satin finish once again applied evenly if you ask me. Um, it's just not my favourite shade. The last lipstick is a one called Ingrid and I think this was a limited edition one that has become permanent, but I'm not sure. Um, but it is a beautiful burgundy lipstick. As you can see, very deep and very dark. It is definitely very warm toned and it's a warm burgundy red in my mind. I think it's beautiful on the lips. This has got a slightly more glossy finish, which looks pretty on the lips, but it has got some downsides as well because 
it does not apply as evenly as I would have liked it to do and also because it's got a bit more of a slip in its um, formula it just feathers out into the lines a tiny bit and I don't really like that so if you're going to wear this one definitely wear a lip liner underneath because I will make sure that it doesn't feather out into your fine lines it just looks so bad and it's really annoying but other than that it's a beautiful color I love the color of this um, lipstick it's one of my favorite colors and I love it for autumn winter time I just think it looks beautiful and that was all of my 11 different lipsticks and I really hope this video was helpful for you guys and informative I tried to be as professional and precise in my descriptions as I possibly could so hopefully this was very helpful for you guys if you're looking for a new lipstick or if you want to try out the NARS Audacious lipsticks. As I said, there are 40 different shades and I've only got 11 of them um, and I think that I'm going to try out some more. I love that they're very creamy on the lips but I also love that they're still very opaque in their color and um, I just really love the finish of them. The price is 32 US dollars and um, I think it's a fair price. Obviously it is a bit more expensive than drugstore um, lipsticks but I definitely think that they're worth the money. The finish of the lipsticks is absolutely gorgeous and therefore I love it and I definitely recommend these lipsticks. If you found this video helpful in any way please don't hesitate, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Till next time, have the most amazing day, bye!